Hi, I'm Neil Hanks, president of Beverly Hanks & Associates Realtors. You know, one of the great things about Western North Carolina is there's just so many ways in which to live here. In fact, we think that's one of the reasons our region is so popular. You know, you could just as easily choose to live a private lifestyle in the rural countryside as you could choose to live in a high-rise condo overlooking bustling downtown Asheville. You might choose to live in one of our master plan communities, artfully designed since its inception, or to live in a historic neighborhood and enjoy the charm that can only be developed over time. We've created a series of videos to help you discover how to live the life you choose in Western North Carolina. Those people who want to live in the heart of art and activity of culture and convenience find that Western North Carolina's urban lifestyle delivers in a way that is uniquely its own. Asheville's thriving downtown, being surrounded by the Blue Ridge Mountains, creates an environment like no other in the world. Asheville, North Carolina's central business district features some of the best restaurants, art galleries, and music venues found anywhere in the world. Since its revitalization in the mid-1990s, Asheville has quickly made a name for itself with its diverse culture and laid-back lifestyle. We'd been coming here for decades, and I can't believe how this place has changed. I mean, really, the art that you see here um, being produced is serious art now, which is hard to find outside of New York and a few other really big cities. Um, there's great theater. I mean, when we were making our decision to come here, NC Stage had just opened, and we said, wow. And then we've got the Magnetic Theater. I think Asheville stacks up really well. Those people who live the urban condominium lifestyle are just a few steps from all Asheville has to offer and a short drive to world-class outdoor activities. It's a very active lifestyle because you have mountain biking, you have walking, you have uh, kayaking just right outside Asheville's doors. We're big day hikers and um, Every weekend that it's nice out, we'll find us out on a, oh, two to four hour kind of a hike, something, um, you know, just nice. Uh, I'm, I'm sitting here in my favorite restaurant and uh, I'm about to have a crepe uh, from Twisted Crepe and I'm gonna walk. Uh, it'll take me about two minutes to walk to 12 South Lexington. Uh, which I call home. Um, it, there's no easier way to live. It, you, you get to know your neighbors as you're walking around downtown. You get to know the staff. Uh, you get to know the employees and the and the uh, the owners of these businesses. And it really makes you a part of Asheville. You really feel like you've become uh, attached and involved in the city life, and it's amazing. Of course, what makes a city great is its people. And anyone who has spent even a short time in Asheville can see why it's been voted the happiest city in the United States. Uh, we met this really nice young guy downtown who was traveling around via um, couchsurfing.com or something like that. Well-educated, neat young guy, met him at an outdoor cafe and had a, actually, we older people all invited him over for the evening. <laughs> Mostly, I think people are open-minded. Everybody, there seems to be room in the end for everybody here. If you feel at home with art and activity at your doorstep and mountain views off your balcony, then the urban lifestyle may be right for you. Most would agree that when you're in a historic neighborhood, you know it immediately. Yet no two are quite alike. Many of Western North Carolina's historic neighborhoods feature diverse architectural styles, mature landscaping, and unique community identities. Every traditional neighborhood has its own unique specialty. 
The town of Laurel Park features Jump Off Rock with its 180 degree view. It's one of the best gyms of Western North Carolina. I think the whole identity of the Grove Park neighborhood is it's based around the historic Grove Park Inn and which has a beautiful golf course, of course a world-renowned spa, but really it's the historic inn that draws people here from all over the world and the neighborhood is sort of built around that. People talk about the Grove Park trees from all over the place. I mean they're just kind of one of a kind. Beautiful in the fall and the spring and, and just sort of majestic and they kind of tie everything together. The essence of historic neighborhoods is captured in time. There simply is no substitute. Time for the landscape to mature, time for a variety of homes to be built, and time for a community to develop its own identity. I love the eclectic mix of architecture. I love the mature landscaping, these huge, magnificent trees, things that really can only be achieved over time and um, make me want to get outside and walk. I love that. I love living in a historic neighborhood. I grew up in one and to me there was just no other choice when it came to where I wanted to live and raise my family. Um, I love the, the character of the homes, the, the old trees, the beautiful yards. The people here are people that are going to stay in the neighborhood and not be moving around so you get to know a lot of people really well. Whether it's majestic oak trees along a sidewalk, mature landscaping that provides the perfect dose of privacy, or a common history enjoyed by generations, historic neighborhoods just improve with age. Biltmore Forest is the iconic neighborhood that is rich in tradition. It has a long history dating from the 1920s it's the type of community which people always found attractive through every decade. As a matter of fact, they came to stay. They didn't come to move on to someplace else. While they welcome newcomers, many of the neighbors you will find have lived here for generations. These historic neighborhoods were planned and developed around 90 years ago. Asheville was a lot smaller then, so they definitely got the best locations. I can walk down a street just like this, whether I'm in Montford, Kenilworth, Grove Park, or Biltmore Forest, and I'm still just minutes from great shopping, the post office, and all that downtown Asheville has to offer. If you enjoy homes representing decades of architectural styles, or if you've always dreamed of rehabilitating a home to create the perfect blend of yesterday and today, then a historic neighborhood may be the lifestyle you've always wanted. Of the many different ways to live in Western North Carolina, one way is uniquely woven into our history, the rural lifestyle. We describe the rural lifestyle as living outside the city limits on three or more acres of minimally restricted land. The rural lifestyle offers unparalleled opportunities for connection with nature, stewardship of the land, and living a self-reliant outdoor lifestyle. Our neighbors who enjoy the rural lifestyle would tell you that it means room to spread out, to create their own space and way of living, and to live in a way that has been valued for hundreds of years. We had bought a farm after, soon after we got married, and as the kids started coming along and they enjoyed horses, um, we were boarding horses, and it became clear to us that to have the full experience of having children growing up with horses, we needed to have a bigger farm, and we needed to have pastures and all. And so I bought this land in 1980, and we built the road and cleared the fields, dug the pond, and then in 1985 we built the house. And it was a great way to raise kids, right here on the farm, taking care of horses, learning responsibility. Once I got here to Western North Carolina, I realized I didn't want to be anywhere else. This place is just so special. The scenery, the people, the pace of life, and it all, fit. It's very important for us to see that our children grow up in the 
way in life that we did, flipping rocks over in the creek, finding a salamander, getting up in the top of a tree and looking down or up to see what's there. Just getting back to the old way of life, away from the video games and the TV. The nurturing of an animal is a responsibility every kid should have. And it, it makes them realize that there are things more important than themselves and that they have to respect and care for an animal. Um, I particularly enjoy growing vegetables and that, that's an art form in itself and uh, it's very, very satisfying and part of the rural way of life. There is a space in rural western North Carolina for raising horses, raising gardens, or just raising yourself to the peace and quiet every morning. You know, it's so nice when you're having a long day at work, you can just ease out here some close to proximity to downtown Asheville, catch a fish and relax and spend the day. And the, uh, these beautiful mountain trout, rainbows and browns put up a really great fight here. Nothing like catching one on a fly rod. People living out share their property with the deer, turkeys, and other forms of North Carolina wildlife that are our common visitors, but rarely ever a bother. If you appreciate having room to spread out, enjoy a quieter, slower pace of life, and want to nurture the land, then the rural lifestyle may be the fit for you. Planned communities are those designed to deliver a specific lifestyle for their residents. We enjoy a wide variety of planned neighborhoods, each with a unique character and constellation of amenities. Homeowners that enjoy the planned community lifestyle appreciate the fact that all of their needs were considered before the first shovel ever hit the dirt. We have such a great lifestyle here. We, we live in a resort-like community enjoy the great beauty that surrounds us. It's like every day's a holiday. It's just a wonderful place to live. The locations of many of our great planned communities were chosen to enhance each community's chosen lifestyle. Some are built around high mountain tea boxes, others around urban villages, and still others were built to deliver perfect mountain living just outside the city limits. One of the best things about living in a planned community for me, it's the amenities. They provide numerous opportunities for social interaction. Amenities like golf courses, wellness centers, hiking trails, restaurants, and lakes provide the foundation for active lifestyles. Not all planned communities are about golf courses and tennis courts. For instance, this one is all about living in the outdoors. So one of the reasons that we came to a master plan community, we wanted to have instant neighbors, we wanted to have a, a sense of community, and we wanted to really have a place where there was gatherings and there was uh, events that, that we could go to and, and instantly make friends. There's so many activities. Yeah. There's, there's, the, the club has activities. Our friends invite us out to dinner. We go to their house. They come to our house. We're so busy all the time. And, and something very unique here is on Wednesday nights at 5 o'clock, they ring a cowbell, and everybody in the area goes up to the come park. To golf course. And we all go up there. We bring a drink, and say, we sit down in the picnic area and we all talk and we make friends and every time a new person moves in we always invite them up there so we can introduce them and that's the type of environment that's here. It's just it's so friendly. Careful community planning means each common area, each home and all of the community's infrastructure were designed to provide maximum enjoyment and security. Planned community homeowners enjoy the peace of mind that comes with knowing that maintenance of roads, landscaping, and security are left to someone else. 
I thought I wanted rural, farmland, horses. And as it turns out, that was just a little too far out for me. Um, coming from the city, you know, you're used to the amenities and, and safety of having security around. So being here gave us both. It gave us um, beautiful amenities here. And, and I feel like I'm out in the middle of nowhere. It's, it's got, it's the best of both worlds. I keep saying that, but I just can't think of a better way to put it. If you want to enjoy the benefit of a thoughtfully designed community, one which is built around your lifestyle, then you should consider one of Western North Carolina's planned communities. We hope you found this series of videos insightful. We would consider it our privilege to help you further explore the many ways to live in Western North Carolina.